Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his guy, his guy is a bona fide beer knife So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Outside on the front porch on a beautiful day. I want to shoot this outside, but it's extremely windy right now, so hopefully it'll cut down on some of the wind by shooting in here. Anyways, this is going to be the first of a seven-part series of all non-American beers. We're going around the world for the next week. And we're going to start way on the east side with Japan. This is Japan's number one beer, Asahi Breweries Limited, Asahi Draft Beer, the beer for all seasons, super dry. And there's a long description and all that stuff. It's a 500 milliliter can. I'm going to use, for the first, I don't even use this before. This is a New York Giants football shaped glass I have that has actual laces and stuff on it. Um, it holds, I think it holds like 20 ounces, so we should be able to get this entire 500 milliliter can in here, no problem. Now, it says dry beer. Maybe this isn't the ideal one I want because I just got back from the gym. So I want something refreshing, not dry, but, uh, you know, it's an Asian lager. It's probably going to be very light and kind of refreshing, so. Well. That's a lot of head right there. Got a nice three three fingers or so. Color is pretty dark. Maybe you guys can see that in the light. Very, very, very effervescent. It's strange because it actually smells kind of skunky, which is weird because it's you know coming from a can, but it is, you know, a pale lager. Has that kind of cardboard kind of smell to it, a little a little skunky. So let's dig in here. Well, it's a very, very clean-tasting beer. Clean finish, too. I mean, um, I was kind of bracing my palate for shock because I was expecting something like a Heineken or something. It's not sour and skunky tasting like that. It's actually very, very neutral tasting, very clean tasting. Um, you know, nothing particularly foul about it, but like, there really isn't a whole lot of flavor to here to begin with. It's, uh, it's bland. Drinkability on it though is great. I mean, it just goes down like water. Even though we saw it was very carbonated, I can just slurp it right down. Um, you know, it kind of has. It definitely has a watery mouth feel. Um, I mean, it's. I guess it's crisp while it's in the mouth, but it's. You know, for such a carbonated beer, like it's not all. It's not fizzy the way that a lot of is the yellow lagers tend to be. This was, this actually, and ironically, doesn't taste as Rice Krispie-ish as Budweiser does. I always thought Budweiser tastes like Rice Krispies. I mean, I'm all the way down here now, and like I'm just now starting to get where that so-called dryness is coming from. Like, okay, yeah, it's a little dry for a lager, but as a beer in general, it's not very dry at all. It's, it's refreshing while it's in the mouth. It finishes mostly clean. You know, like I said, starting to get that kind of, you know, starchy kind of aftertaste now. It's it's very easily tolerable. Yeah, I'm almost done here. I don't even need to take a break, or if I was, I would have taken it by now. But uh, yeah, it's um, it's not, that, it's not that it's a bad beer. It's just that it's really lacking in good qualities for it to be to get a, a thumbs up for me at least. Um, this is getting just just slightly of a thumb down. I'm going four out of ten for the Asahi Super Dry. You know, it's a mediocre, you know, slightly below average beer. Highly drinkable. You know, I can drink this, no problem. But it's just, you know, it's really lacking flavor. Um, I don't know the ABV on this. I imagine it's probably at or below five, somewhere in that re region. Could you session it? Uh, I guess so. 
But you'd really, you'd want to session this with some snacks or food to, you know, like, to to cause you to be thirsty to quench your thirst with this. But uh, you know, something kind of beer you drink for the taste. So, yeah, four out of ten for a Sahi Super Dry. So that does it for this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's Beer Reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.